President Trump is facing growing pressure on the legal front. His longtime lawyer and fixer Michael Cohen claims in an exclusive interview with ABC News' George Stephanopoulos that then-candidate Trump knew it was wrong to make hush payments to two women during the campaign and that he was deeply involved. ABC's Tara Palmieri has the latest from Washington. Michael Cohen striking back against President Trump for claiming that he struck a plea deal to protect his family and embarrass the president, Here telling ABC's George Stephanopoulos... The people of the United States of America, the people of the world, don't believe what he's saying. The president's longtime fixer and lawyer sentenced to three years in prison for what the judge called a smorgasbord of financial and campaign finance crimes, including facilitating payments to porn star Stormy Daniels and Playboy playmate Karen McDougal months before the 2016 election. Cohen and prosecutors say Trump directed him to make those payments. But Cohen says he doesn't want to go down in history as a villain. You lied for him for a long time. More than 10 years. Why? Out of loyalty. Out of loyalty to him. Cohen saying Trump knew at the time the hush payments were improper. He was trying to hide what you were doing, correct? Correct. And he knew it was wrong? Of course. Cohen claims then-candidate Trump was deeply involved in a deal struck with AMI CEO and National Enquirer publisher David Pecker to buy and bury McDougal's story about an alleged affair. Trump denies the affair. He directed me to become involved in these matters, uh, including the one with McDougal, which was really between him and David Pecker, and then David Pecker's counsel. Pecker is now cooperating with the U.S. attorney on that case. That means Pecker could end up being a critical witness against President Trump. And we'll continue to watch for development.